Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Leaf Green. It's finally time to finish this by taking on our rival in one epic final battle. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you were, right? Yeah, you found all kinds of strong Pokemon, which means this is going to be a real pain in my backside, probably. But we have to overcome. Or one of the most powerful trainers in the world. You will one day own your own gym, after all. You do have the distinction of being one of the few rivals that actually have been a league champion, so I'll give you credit. You stand out. Even after all these years, you still stand out. I'm hoping we get a sand attacker or something. Early on, we can get lucky and get sleep power to land. Great. I'm already missing. It's the very start of the battle. My chances of landing up. Sleep powder are the best. Okay. Moving into Phoenix. I'm hoping he doesn't wake up Pidgeot and I can set up on it. Okay, he doesn't seem to want to recover just yet, so I can try basically doing some of my own feather dances and sand attacks. Good. I assume he doesn't switch out afterwards. Well, if I lower its attack stats six stages, I can then work on blinding it, hopefully. So you then move into Charizard and start doing some major, um, double team work. Then start basically frying and punching in, airily smashing everyone to the ground. Uh, aerial Ace, huh? Well, after taking six, huh? Oh yeah, he's got Keen Eye. I can't lower his accuracy. Darn. Well, I guess I'll just have to take it. I could switch back over to Butterfree, I suppose, and try and do uh, another Sleep Powder. I'll take my chances. I've got high hopes for Monarch, though. I'm guessing it's probably going to get knocked out real quick. I'm try still trying to use this for support. Gotcha. Unfortunately, I don't have any way to block that with um, Monarch. Hopefully it stays asleep for a while. Yeah, we're going to be using a lot of um, drugs here. We're going to be just doping to the extreme to push Charizard up to the next level. Um, I'll give it a speed boost, why not? I don't know if it's necessary, but I'll still do it. And then four X attacks. That, uh, push me up to the next level, at least. Come on, a bit more. I guess I should look at the bright side. He doesn't have Gyarados. So he's a bit easier to deal with. Ah, great. It's lowering my accuracy. Okay, let's do an Aerial Ace and just try and drop this thing. Ah, great, just canceled out all my work. Gosh darn it. I forgot how annoying this guy can be. Gosh damn you, Pidgeot. I always forget, it's got Bloody Whirlwind. Ugh. Well, try and switch, do another um, X attack, I guess, and hope that's just enough to carry me. Darn it. And now I just lost a bunch of my freaking attack power. I hate you, Pidgeot. I really do. You're one of the most annoying Pokemon I've ever had to face, I swear. At least when it comes to setting up on. It's because it keeps getting in the way of doing that. Like, oh, Feather Dance. Whirlwind, so I can switch you out and get rid of all those attack ups you just gave yourself. <sighs> if I have to, I can use other means to push myself up to the next level, but. Gosh darn it. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to get super creative here in order to win. I mean, if I have to, I can exhaust them on healing items. But that wasn't my plan. <sighs> I guess I should have been using double teams first. Then maybe I could have dodged the freaking um whirlwind. Maybe. 
Ah, damn it! Level 63 Blastoise took me out in one hit. I ain't got any really good counters for that either, other than, you know, revive. I keep forcing it to use really high moves, I'll be able to just outlast it. Oh, it doesn't automatically select the knocked out Pokemon? Oh, whatever. Yeah, I can hope it missed, but that's not gonna do that, is it? Well, I can bounce back with Hyper Potion. Uh, of course, eventually it's probably gonna knock me out with Hydro Pump regardless. Especially when it hits that freaking hard. Or the shot. Assuming it doesn't follow up with Hydro Pump that next, I might be able to get enough evasion with to dodge it. Uh, didn't think that was gonna work. Where's worth a shot. Uh, well, at any rate, it's gonna run out of Hydro Pumps at some point. Uh, man. I'm gonna wish I'd picked up Zapdos. It would've given me a pretty easy counter to, like, most of this stuff. Especially would give me an easy counter to Blastoise, and so just come in, just or hide. Sorry, but with a Thunderbolt. Why are you spamming Hydro Pumps so much, man? It's not like you got an infinite supply of Hydro Pumps. I'm just saying. <sighs> I didn't think I was gonna have to abuse this many items in this fight. At least healing items. Still got a few left, huh? I thought I'd be empty by now. Okay. Can I finally start setting up double teams? Thank you very much. Oh, great. It's not like I have a counter for that either, so now it's gonna power up its other water attacks. Joy! Or is it not having other water attacks and it's just doing that just because? Because really, this would be a good time to follow up with a surf. Instead of, you know, trying to bite my sorry butt. <sighs> well, it's almost over. If I can get the double team set up, I should be able to. Hopefully, just finish him off. Good, it missed. And the rain stopped, okay. Use up our second to last hyper potion here. Okay. It can fall at once, I don't care. Jeez, this fight's gonna basically take me 10 minutes plus to finish at this rate. Yeah, good luck with that. Now I'll start grabbing a few X specials. And a dire hit, probably. Okay. After all, hopefully I can use Flamethrower against a few of his remaining Pokemon. I'm probably gonna want a little rain fade before I start launching um fire attacks again. Yeah, we're getting pumped alright. Seriously pumped. Aerial ace. Well, that didn't do as much as I was hoping for. Not even close. If only I had more X attacks. I ended up having to give them all up. Okay. Well, I'm almost out of air laces. Gosh darn it. That blows. Fine, hit him with a brick break. Who critical hit on the fighting attack, huh? 
Jeez, 10 minutes in, I've only dropped two of his Pokemon. Nah, send out the Rhydon. No, in my luck, it's gonna get a lucky hit in with um, Rock Slide or something, though. Well, let's try and Brick Break it. Oh, Dire Hit kicked in again. Thank you, Dire Hit. I'm counting on you right now. <sighs> I wish we hadn't lost all that power, man. Oh, Alakazam? Oh, let's just slam into it. With Aerial Ace. Oof, dodged a bullet there. Psychic's no joke, man. Ooh, full restore, huh? Makes me wish I had moved the priority here. <sighs> that would be really helpful. He really doesn't want to lose that Alakazam, does he? <sighs> And I don't want to have to switch over what kind of attacks I'm using. Ooh, finally got lucky with the random damage push just up enough to knock it out. Okay. I'll give him credit, he managed to exhaust all my ring aerial aces. So now I gotta use Flamethrower on Executor. But that probably works more in my favor anyway. It's a grass type after all. Okay. Bow of the fire types. Still gonna hit me with intimidate. Gosh darn it. Flamethrower, I guess. It doesn't have to be very effective. Oh good, it missed. If I actually landed, I would have been pissed. Ugh. So he's got a roar and a whirlwinder just to screw with a um, boost you give out. <sighs> I've only had a counter to that, really, besides, you know, double team my way to dodge him. Hey, don't feel too bad. I had to abuse a lot of items, several revives, and you managed to basically waste most of my X attacks and stuff. I don't feel like I really deserve the award, you know? I'm sorry, I had to basically use a lot of um, drugs to win here. Yeah, maybe I have. But this would have been a heck of a lot easier if I had a more diverse team. I really should have grabbed Zapdos and Arcuno on them. <sighs> I just don't like using the legendaries when I do these runs, but sometimes I feel like they're almost necessary to get certain teams over the finish line. Um... Especially since you'll run to some Pokemon like that just completely stall you out, man. Um, if you do Electric Run, you like ground types are your worst enemy because you can't really dodge their ground attacks unless you got Zapdos. Um, and even then, you have to worry about them stalling you out because you don't have anything you really throw against them that's super effective. <sighs> you can get walled horribly in this game with certain teams. <sighs> but I guess it's all over, finally. Got a few kills, I'm surprised. Phoenix did help out a little bit. Batman sort of got screwed. Without the ability to evolve into a Crobat, just lacks the speed to be helpful. And Nefertina sort of got waste, put to the wayside a long time ago. Kind of sad. One of these days I'll have a Pharaoh and I'll actually use it for something, I swear. Instead of just having it for the sake of having it. Ah yes, the end credits. We now get to watch people run around and be happy. <laughs> Time to get walking. Maybe that's some last minute advice about how to maintain our title. I can hope. <laughs> it's going to be hard to hold on to that. After all, our lack of team diversity makes this pretty easy to take care of if you got the right Pokemon. <sighs> I could have used a few more levels to just uh, go even with my rival there at the end. 
That's the big problem. The jump between wild Pokemon and um, the Elite Four is just so big, it's uh, irritating. You have to spend hours grinding in order to keep up with them, or you have to have Pokemon that can exploit their weaknesses. <sighs> Which you may or may not have. <sighs> Well, gotta keep running, I guess. Well, if it's not running, you got dancing Pokemon, I suppose. <sighs> That's nice, I guess. Breathe fire, Charizard. Breathe a lot. <sighs> Though I was relying a lot more on its aerial ace ability than anything else near the end there, wasn't I? And we're back near Sylvan. Why? Ah, uh, gotta go to Vermilion now? That's an odd jump. Of course, that's one of the most evil gyms of all time. Gosh darn electric switches. They're pure evil. Pure evil, I tell you. <sighs> Like, the visible walls are annoying when you hit them, but those electric switches will make you want to pull your hair out if you keep guessing wrong. I've had them stall me out for like 15, 20 minutes before, because I'm unlucky on the guess on where the second switch is at. So I gotta keep finding the first one all over again. Sometimes, you know, it makes you want to pull your hair out. <sighs> At least this is finally over. I can move on to either doing another run, which I'm a bit hesitant to do, or I can work on another um, Game Boy Advance game, I guess. Uh, being all cool there, just tossing up his balls over and over and over again. Because he wants everyone to see him. <laughs> or is he contemplating the mysteries of life? Well, tossing a ball gently up in the air, because, you know, you need something else, something to keep your hands busy. Like, when I walk around my room, sometimes I toss up and down a tennis ball or something. I don't know, it's sort of just weird pacing and not doing something like that. Ah, uh, yes. Cinnabar Island. Can't say I'm particularly fond of Cinnabar. Blaine's cool, I suppose, but I don't like going through that burnt-down mansion. Jeez. We're almost at the end of these credits, right? I mean, we're in the special thanks section. <laughs> finally. Right? Yeah, finally done. <sighs> Those credits took less time than the battle with our rival, though. Jeez. Well, that does it for this run. Till next time, then. See ya.